Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna visualize the time spent above the 20 week SMA and the 21 week EMA, which is our Bitcoin bull market support band. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. So we know we've talked about the bull market support being what we wanna be above, right? To maintain the integrity of the bull market, just like we did last market cycle. Uh, and, and just like we've done right now, right? We, we said that if we if we hold this, then we maintain the integrity of the bull market and sentiment can change on a dime, and it did. But what we wanna do in this video is we wanna visualize this in a slightly different way than we have before. So we're going to, I'm gonna pull up this indicator. So this, the white line, is the, the natural log of the price divided by the 20 week SMA. So the natural log, in per, and then in parentheses, price divided by the 20 week SMA. Now, if the price and the 20 week SMA are the same, then you would be dividing a number divided by the same number and you would get one. The natural log of one is zero. So what that means is anything above this line, we're above the 20 week SMA or we're below the 20 week SMA, okay? So if we're above it, we're in bull market territory, if we're below it, we're in bear market territory. Now, you might wonder, what are these color-coded for? Um, and actually, they're, they're, they're color-coded not only to the 20-week SMA, because we know that our bull market support band is the 20-week SMA and the 21-week EMA. So it's color-coded green if, if the price of Bitcoin is above either the 20-week SMA or the 21-week EMA. If it's above either of those, then in that case, it's colored green. It's colored red if, if it's not, right? If it's, if it's below both of them. If it's below both of them, it's colored red. And in that situation, we know we're in, in, in bear market waters. So the interesting thing about this trend is drawing a line and basically connecting these four major points, okay? And, and seeing how nicely it lines up. And of course, you know, when it comes to drawing lines on charts, there's always reason to be skeptical and, and to ask questions, of course. It is interesting when you look at a macro level trend line and there's four major peaks and the line goes right through all four major peaks. Now, will this trend hold forever? No, it will not. And the reason it will not is because if you were to extend this out way over here, Okay, you can see if we extend this line out too, so let me just grab this line, we're gonna extend it out. You can see that it would cross right here in 2029, okay? So it would cross approximately in late 2029. Now, what that means is that after this point, in order for this trend line to continue to be respected, the price of Bitcoin can never go above the 20 week SMA. And we know that that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense it would imply that the price is just crashing. Um, so we're going to assume that this trend line will not hold forever. However, it's pretty interesting that it held here, or well, it started here, 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 and here, right? Pretty pretty interesting move. And, and during this time, we had a major move down and then back up to this peak. Well, we went to this peak, but then we had another one back up to this one. Um, we also, whoops, I accidentally um, uh, hit it, so we'll add it back up. So let me let me draw the line back really quick. So we have these four major peaks, right? And and the first one came down all the way down here, and then it came up to the first peak. But we know that this cycle we had a double peak, and and even this market cycle there's always the chance of a double peak, right? Last market cycle was pretty nice. It was nice and smooth. We just came back up. There was always a chance of double peaks this cycle. I mean, we've already had more volatility in the accumulation phase than we had last cycle because we had this major move here. However, it did not go to the trend line. So eventually, we're, we're fully aware that this trend line will break. Otherwise, it implies that the price of Bitcoin will eventually start... Uh, you know, going, staying below the 20 week SMA, which means bye bye bull market. Um, the question, of course, is will it hold again? 
And, and, and so this is, this is one of those times or one of these metrics that it's not something you necessarily want to take to the bank and say that it has to respect the line. But with that said, if we ever did come back up to the top of this line, it might be something to, to just simply take into consideration, right? It might be worth taking into consideration uh, simply because, well, we've had four peaks at this line we know we'll eventually break through, right? We know that eventually, again, if we extend this line out, eventually we'll break through. The question is, is are we going to come up to it, respect it again, come down, come up to it, respect it again, and then eventually break through like that? Is that one possibility? Are we just going to come back down and then come back up later and, and, and do something like that? I don't know. But what I do know is that eventually we will test this trend line as as resistance, and it'll be really interesting to see what happens. So, and and then remember, it's a it's a pretty nice indicator too because we can look to see how we're spending more and more time in the green, right, in the bull market. For instance, in this cycle, and we're not gonna if it's just like a single red line implying like just a, a one one very tiny period where we briefly dipped below. We're not gonna count it. Two hundred and eighty days for this one. Um, this one was 812 days. Uh, if you were to, if you know, if you were to measure it from here, if, however, we say measure it from this point, because this was several weeks uh, below it, 672 days, and then if we measure this one all the way over, 826 days. So as we've been going through, we, you know, we've actually been spending more and more time above the bull market support band, and so far, in this bull you know this at least short-term bull market that we've had so far we've been above it for 245 days so to just to give you an idea of uh, of just how long we could be above it if history is any indication and if we were to be above it like we were in the last market cycle 826 days so if we were to ex extend this out to 826 days that would actually put us in summer of 2022. Um, however, we also see that while they are they are lengthening some here, 280 days, 672, 826, maybe it'll be slightly longer and, and, and be a thousand days for all we know. Um, so it's just something to get, take into consideration. And then of course, there's the possibility that we, we dip back down below it and then kind of start back over, right? This is always a possibility that we don't just wanna completely discount we must always be cognizant of the fact that we could go below the bull market support band for a little while and then come back above it. We've done it before. During this cycle here, we, we, we dropped uh, slightly below it before continuing on. This cycle was a little bit more clean, but we don't wanna discount any possibility for Bitcoin, right? We don't wanna discount any possibility and, and we'll, we'll go through the cycle uh, with an open mind about what, you know, wh whether it has to hold the 20 week or the 21 week or just operating on the or operating on the implications of how people how we should might how we maybe should react depending on whether it holds or whether it does not hold. So this indicator will be added to the premium list. So if you guys want access to it, check out the holiday sale. You can find that in the description below. Remember, you also get access to weekly reports, weekly premium videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, a lot of the trading view indicators, as well as a few other things. So. Make sure you check it out in the description below. Sign up while you have time uh, before the prices go back up. Also, um, subscribe to the channel at the very least, right? I appreciate your guys' support. We're at 70,000 subscribers, so now we're just gonna push for 80,000. Uh, I really appreciate everyone subscribing. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and turn on your alerts. Click the little bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hopefully this video was insightful to, to visualize um, you know some of the long term, some of the long term trends we've been we've been looking at, and the the macro trend line. It's amazing how this macro trend line exists on a lot of different uh, indicators. Whether it's the twenty, like you know, looking how we're the the log of the price divided by the twenty week, whether we're looking at the logarithmic regression band of Bitcoin, and then the price divided by the regression band. We see a lot of similar peak or a lot of similar macroscopic downtrends signifying diminishing return, decreasing volatility. So just one more video, one more tool to put into the toolkit. 
hopefully hopefully by the time this market cycle is, is nearing the peak, we'll have enough tools to say, okay, we don't know exactly where the peak is, but we know we're getting close, right? And, and right now, you know, it's possible that, that 19.5 or, 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 you know, 19.9, somewhere in that ballpark is the local top. But we're no, I mean, in my opinion, we're nowhere near the, the macroscopic bubble top, right? We might be near the, a, a micro bubble top, uh, like we, like in 2014 or 2019, but I, I don't think we're anywhere close to the major bubble top for the duration of the market cycle. So uh, remember to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Check out the premium list before the prices go back up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.